All right, so tonight I'm gonna replace the chain case oil in this Bobcat 763, and I'm gonna do it from, from the front chain cover plate right there. So I already had it open earlier this week, and there's probably an inch of water on the bottom. So uh, I have a little little test jar with it settled out over uh, over the week. So we're gonna refill it <clears throat> with what Bobcat recommends, which is 10W30 surprisingly. And it seems like everyone else on, on YouTube's doing the same thing. Um, so if you look at the manual, so Bobcat 763 manual, they uh, say use Bobcat fluid, 10W30 or 10W40 if uh, the Bobcat fluid is not available. And because um, the Bobcat fluid isn't going to be available for its price point, we're going to use 10W30. So we're also going to use the Harbor Freight $12 liquid transfer pumps that run on two, AA, no, two D batteries. So we'll also test out the Harbor Freight D batteries. I think this pack was $4. I picked up some RTV while I was there. So I think we'll, uh, we'll get going with putting some cardboard underneath and uh, start pumping it out. batteries and it's uh it's pumping a lot better so i went <laughs> went straight to a power supply around three volts 2d batteries is about three volts right so pumping pumping a lot better pumping a lot better and uh that's uh that's just how we're uh you know getting by with i also jacked up the back a little bit to get a uh, get some angle we'll go ahead and refill it but i think uh i think there's a little bit of surface rust right there i think it looks pretty good <laughs> 